Uh, yes. Sorry, in English. Um, yes. We used to see Barcelona compete at the very, very highest level of the game. When do you think it will be before you can challenge for the Europa League or for the Champions League? Hopefully next season. Uh, I think we compete well. We compete well. But at the end, we, we lost in Champions, in Europa, in Europa League. But it was, in my feelings, was really different than the last season. Last season was almost impossible to compete. This season, it was really different. You, you could see today. We compete really well. We compete in Camp Nou. We compete in Milan. We compete in Munich. But small details uh, make the difference. So we have to learn from our mistakes for uh, be ready for the next season. He didn't do as well in the second half. Hi, Xavi. So that's two seasons where Barcelona have gone out of Europe. What are Barcelona missing? What is Xavi missing to be able to compete, to be able to, to do it in Europe? Well, I think we just need to try it again. We have to compete, learn from our errors. This is Europe. Last year, as I say, as I would like to continue to say, we started really badly. At least this year, we've competed. Apart from the game against Bayern at home, we've been competitive in all those games. I think it's just those smaller details. You know, it's uh, in certain aspects, teams have, have been have, have beaten us, but we've competed. I think the two goals today are, are direct duels, individual duels where we have to be better. We just have to try it again next year. Now we'll focus on the league and the cup, which are very important for the club. What What's the issue with Araujo? Does he have a, a problem? Can you explain to us? No, it's just precaution in the end. It's nothing serious. He will be available on, on Sunday, but in theory, the reason why I took him off was just purely for precaution. I, I'd say that he kind of took a knock so I prefer to take him off just pr as a precautionary measure the team hadn't lost since October and they were on a, a, a rich vein of form does it worry you that this defeat could affect the morale of the side do you think going out of Europe could affect uh, the progress in the league and the way they're playing well fortunately we have another game on Sunday and it's just around the corner. It's about relaxing, recovering, and focusing on those two competitions in which we're still in. You know, there are two left. We, we really need to focus on the cup and the league. For us, you know, they're, they're, they're absolutely vital to us, those competitions. How can you explain the difference between how your team plays defensively in Europe compared to the way they do in the league? For example, you, you conceded a couple of goals today, and that's something that just doesn't happen in the league. I don't know. I need to analyse the game today. Obviously, our opponent has played well. They were really intense at home. They're very strong. They're in a great, rich vein of form at the moment. You know, it's just about we have to be uh, realistic. We played against Bayern Munich, Inter Milan, Bayern Man Manchester United, really strong opponents, and we've competed against them. Last year, we didn't do that. So to be, if I'm honest with you, we didn't do that last year. And this year, at least we've competed. Apart from the home game against Bayern, we've competed well. And just those finer details of decided games, we need to do it next year, carry on, learn from our errors, and be autocritical, autocritical. That's the only thing I can say.